Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this lovely uh, two-toned um, rosette pillow that I made for about um, $8 maybe and I had extra fabric and I redid the back by sewing it on. Um, so if you like the way that this pillow looks and you're interested in doing one for yourself or your own room or something like that, stay tuned. Alright, so to get started, um, you can use any type of fabric. You're going to need about half yard to a yard. Um, I did about a yard and a half of this color um, and I used the back as well as an accent color on the pillow and I used this as a plain just um, color on the front. So let's start off by cutting all of our fabric. You're going to want to cut it into half inch to one inch strips. I use about, I like to go more towards an inch and a half though. I just like the look it gives better. So you're just going to cut along. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. I'm just eyeballing it. And then you're going to get a little strip of this. So you're going to put that over to the side and you're just going to keep going. Now I'm just going to repeat it with the other fabric. Just be really careful with this, and if you do want yours to be perfect, um, I don't really recommend you doing this project because you're going to be cutting a lot of little strips. If you don't want your fabric to fray, I, or, yeah, fray, I recommend using shearing scissors or a different kind of fabric. I'm just using a plain cotton type fabric. And I'm just holding the fabric taut and slicing through it. Alright guys, so here's my pile of fabric and the pillow that I'm working on. And over here is my handy dandy hot glue gun. Um, I last stopped here on my pillow. So I'm going to continue on with this lighter color. I just interchange the colors uh, whenever they run out. So you're just going to put a dab of hot glue there. Push it in nice and tight. Here, let me zoom in for you. Alright, let's see if that works. And then you're going to twist it one direction. And then after a few inches, you're going to do another dab of hot glue. Press it in nice and tight. Be careful not to burn yourself, especially through the fabric as it gets hot. Then you're going to, once that cools down a little bit, you're going to twist the same piece of fabric the other direction. It just gives it this really cool rosette effect. So I'm just going to continue doing this all the way around the pillow. Now when you get to an edge like I am here, I'm currently at an edge, you're just going to fold the fabric. You're going to put it out of glue once it's at the edge. Hold that still. And you're going to twist it back in on itself so it goes back around the other way just like that so then you're starting a new row. Dab of glue, put it down. There you go. Alright, so this project uh, with all of these little strips would take a few hours. Um, I also sewed on, here, let me zoom out for you guys. I also sewed on a back to this old pillow. Uh, this is like a 30 year old pillow here, but I just quickly sewed it up. Um, and you're going to want to touch it up if you can still see the pillow in it. You're just going to want to put a dab of glue and press it together. I mean, the hot glue will make a mess, especially on the sides. So you're going to want to touch that up just by folding the um, fabric over it and um, getting rid of these hot glue spots. So you're just going to want to keep doing that until you finish your pillow. Alright guys, so again... When a strip runs out, I just ran out of the lighter blue, you're going to put a dot of hot glue into where the strip ended, and you're going to reattach the next strip, and you're just going to keep on going like that, and that's about it. So if you guys can see that, I just reattached those two strips to each other. Alright guys, this is the finished product. I finally finished. I just turned off my hot glue gun over there. Um, and I still had a bunch of fabric left. Um, I think I can make case sacks or something like that. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you try this out, comment down below and I hope you liked it. Have a great day.